Yeah, hey everybody, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to merge clips together using audio. This is a great way to synchronize your audio if you're doing multiple clips with multiple cameras. Um, so you can actually chop and change and you can, when you're editing, it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, now, what I like to do is I know which camera is I turn on. So when I'm using multiple cameras, I turn camera one, two, and three. I've got like a bit of a routine on how I like to turn these cameras on. This also helps me when I'm going to merge these together. Um, so for example, we're going to use the camera that I use first uh, turning on, uh, where am I, is this one here. So we're gonna put that in, in video clip number one. This is my prime video. This is the one that has the, um, this is my prime video. My secondary video, which does have a little, it's very similar to the first one, but it's just got a little bit of an angle. And then my third one, which is above shot, which is my GoPro. Once I've got all three three videos in, so this is video one, two, and three. This is where I've actually gone around and gone record, record, record. This is just an easier way of doing it. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but this is just a lot simpler and it causes less issues. Now, what you need to do is you've got to select two clips, okay? Um, so we're going to go control, select that one, and we're also going to do this one. Once I've done that, we right click, we go auto align clips, and we go base on waveform. This is now going to think, it's going to see what it needs to do, and it's going to move one of those clips across, like so. Um, and you can see that's just moved across. So that means those two clips are aligned together now with audio. Um, and also it means that now everything's synchronized between the, 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 the those two cameras. Now I want to do the top one. So we just click on the top, go control, and we're going to go back to the bottom one. Doesn't matter which one you do, it's just how I like to do it. Um, so you can pick the middle one if you want, but I just prefer just doing it from the main video because that's the first one I hit record on. It's just a routine. Um, once again, right click auto align clips based on waveform. So just remember you cannot select all three clips at once. It has to be two clips that you can only do at one time. Right, so you can see that was definitely one of the video clips that I did last. That's the last camera that I walked around and press record on. Now, once I've done that, I can go to the blade tool. We can fix some things up now. And let's just do a clip here and a clip there just to make things a little bit tidy. We're going to go, we are going to go back uh, to the pointer. We're going to go control, control and ripple delete. Now you can use your shortcuts if you want. I'm just trying to show you what I, uh, which is just trying to show you in case this is the first time you've ever done it. Ripple delete and it brings everything back in line. What you'll find now is now when I press play, you can see now that all three all three microphones are aligned, all three clips are aligned as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So now when I'm editing, I can use all the cameras, everything is aligned. This is gonna make my life very, uh, very simple. Now, here's a tip as well. Why you've just aligned the clips, what happens is normally if you're using like a GoPro or a DJI, uh, DJI product or anything like that, you will notice that these clips uh, are a little bit shorter than my main one from a main camera. So what I need to do is I've already lined the clips. I already know where they need to go. So GoPro, uh, blah, blah, blah. Clip number two goes at the end. And then I know this one here, which is the second DJI um, shot because that's using a DJI camera and bang. So what that does is it just makes it a little bit easier putting those clips at the end um, because you've already synchronized the audio. So you know where the, so putting them where they need to go at the end of the clips is perfectly fine. It just makes life a little bit easier for yourself. Less playing around and less realigning. So now I don't need to redo the audio lining up because it's already been done in the very first clip, uh, very first time I did it before. So this just makes life a little bit easier.
Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's the one of the easiest things you can do to try to synchronize uh, audio clips across multiple cameras. Um, if you did like the video, um, please smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, it'd be awesome if you did subscribe. But as always, I do hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers, mate. Bye.